Meantime, wireless industry trade group CTIA complains that 40 other countries with 5G networks are able to safely fly without the technology interfering with aviation equipment. So they're asking, what's the problem here in the U.S.? Well, here with me now to join this is our one of our friends to the show, Kelso, Burton Kelso. He is talking about the 5G technology. And of course, we are going to talk to you about what 5G is and why it's so important. Help people understand that briefly, because some people just can't keep up with all of this technology. Yeah, and it's a challenge because obviously it's technology and it's complicated, but to dumb things up, uh, 5G basically is, is a frequency that is being used to project faster internet service to mobile devices. Uh, 5G uses a frequency called C-band, which competes with the radio altimeters that airplanes use in order to land in inclement conditions. Now, there's a lot of rumors about 5G, but the unfortunate thing is, is that the FAA and technology have never worked well together. It's kind of one of the reasons why we still have to turn our phones into uh, airplane mode. And same thing with our laptops when we fly. There just never has been a relationship that's been created where the airlines gets along with the latest tech that comes on onto the scene. Okay, so Burton, you are a cybersecurity expert. This is your field of expertise. We've got 10 airlines warning the Biden administration about 5G wireless um, launching near these airports. They say it can possibly affect a pilot's ability to take off or land an airplane, especially during extreme weather. But we're hearing that other countries have successfully rolled out 5G. Explain what's happening here in the U.S. Well, I think, and I can't say for certain, but in certain countries, they're willing to take the risk to say, well, 5G's been on the on the market for at least 2019. So went ahead and rolled it out, and they have noticed that there hasn't been any interference, any interference with airplanes that have flown overseas. Now, in the United States, I think the FAA just wants to be 110% sure that this new technology that's only been around since 2019 is not going to interfere with their radio altimeter. So I think it's kind of a kind of a standoff as to, you know, should the FAA just upgrade their aircraft so that they can use wireless technology that will allow those airplanes to land in inclement weather? Or should the FCC and AT&T and Verizon just bow down and allow these buffer zones to exist in the airport? I mean, there's really hasn't been any clear cut evidence to show that 5G will cause a plane not to be able to use the radio altimeter. So it's kind of a challenge to understand where this battle is coming from. Well, don't we want those airlines and aircrafts updated anyhow? Despite this possible issue, don't we want to be flying in airplanes that have the latest technology in them? Yes, I think that we would, but the airline industry has always been slow on the uptake as far as technology. In fact, some of your uh, scheduling systems with many of the airlines are still using mainframe computers to make sure that people are able to get to their flight on time. So it's never been an issue with, you know, should they? I mean, obviously they should, but at the same time, the FCC and, uh, or excuse me, the FAA and airlines have just never really embraced technology or done things in order to make sure that their craft are going to keep up with the latest and greatest uh, technology that go goes around. So I think ultimately in the end, this is a battle of money. Obviously the FCC and AT&T and Verizon want to roll out 5G because they spent $81 billion um, buying the C-band technology in order to roll out 5G. But then on the other side, you've got the FAA and uh, all the other airlines that are facing the possibility, they may have to update a lot of their planes in their fleet. So, I mean, obviously both sides want to save money. I mean, at some point they're gonna have to allow this, right? The airline industry can't hold 5G up forever. Well, that's a yes or no question because, I mean, I think they can survive right now. I mean, how important is 5G around an airport? Because you have to think, that normally when you take off in an airplane, you're turning off your you're turning off your cell phone signal anyway, and 5G is not going to reach up at 30,000 feet. So it's kind of a, a, a moot point, but at the same time, um, 
more things are requiring wireless technology. So uh, it would be like icing on the cake if they, if they, meaning the FCC and Verizon and AT and T, were able to allow these this five G wireless to work around airports and not have this buffer zone. Yeah, and the U.S. Transportation Department, they also spotted a potential problem uh, asking on Friday the telecom giants to hold off near certain high-priority airports. So certain airports they identified could have even more issues than others. What was it about those airports that were more concerning than all the other airports across the U.S.? It's just the type of traffic that they allow at the airport that's causing the bigger concern with some of these, um, you know, some of the 50 airports around the country. I mean, it's not to say that um, LaGuardia is more important than where I am KCI, but at the same time, there are airports that maybe receive cargo or other important medical supplies that could cause an issue as opposed to other airports that just deal with domestic and um, international travel. So that's the big difference between these 50 airports as opposed to some of the other ones around the country. Okay, so bottom line, if you're a traveler, should you avoid the airports or flying around this time while they're trying to sort this out? Not at all. I mean, I think it's air, air, uh, airplane flight or air, airline travel is, is po- obviously the most uh, safest way to travel. So I think if you're traveling... Uh, in the current months, I think you're safe. There's nothing that you really have to worry about. Because right now, uh, the FCC, Verizon, and AT&T are playing ball with the FAA. But I don't think it will become an issue where uh, you're going to have situations where you're going to miss out if you don't have 5G at an airport. All right. Sounds good. Burton Kelso, cybersecurity expert. Thank you so much, as always, for joining us here on BNC. And there's more news coming up on the other side of this quick break. 